Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, we're going to check out Venus Williams in no man's land hitting really low over the net. Now, this video is courtesy of Jorge Capistani Tennis on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe to his channel. I have put his link in the description below. All right, here's a common situation. You're pulled into no man's land, and you got to hit a forehand. Well, or a backhand, whatever. It's either. And guess what happens? Players typically hit this ball out. They hit the ball out because they hit too high over the net. And then the ball lands past the baseline. Now, some people say, yeah, but you got to increase spin and all that. Look, I get it. You can add more spin to help bring that ball down into the court. But the average tennis player, especially those who watch YouTube videos, it's going to be in their best interest to aim low over the net. I mean, heck, I'm literally showing you Venus Williams doing exactly that. So when you get a short ball... Have it in your mind that you are going to hit the ball low over the net. I don't care if it's a slice approach shot. I don't care if it's a slice backhand, forehand. If you're hitting a topspin shot, think of hitting low over the net. Why don't you get a bucket of balls, stand in no man's land, just drop the ball, and just practice hitting low over the net. And then drop another ball, hit low over the net, and just do some drop feeds. Feel what it's like to mentally execute the shot you're trying to attempt, right? So you're thinking, how do I get this ball low over the net? If you hit the net, that's not the worst mistake. At least you were trying to hit low. If you hit the ball too high over the net, you'll probably notice that the ball goes out. The key to handling this shot, you get a short ball, is you got to make sure that when the ball crosses the net, it crosses quite low over the net. Even if you have a lot of topspin, it's, in a, it's a good idea to hit low over the net. Otherwise, the ball can carry long. Now, what are th some things that you can do to help you hit low over the net? Well, first, we already talked about it. Have your intentions be that you're going to hit low over the net. Now, intentions drive technique. Right, there's a nice little drop there. Intentions drive technique. So if you have the right intentions, you'll use the right technique. So her intentions are to hit low over the net. So look how she is closing her racket face. Right? It's vital if you want to hit the ball low over the net with consistency that you close the racket at the moment the butt cap is pointing at the ball. And it doesn't matter if you use the Roger Federer style forehand or the Serena Williams, Venus Williams, uh, Juan Martin Del Potro forehand style. It doesn't matter. ATP, WTA, it doesn't. All you got to do is make sure at the moment your butt cap is pointing at the ball that your strings are facing down. It doesn't have to be flat down to the ground. Depending on the grip, it'll vary, but you want the strings tilted down. That ensures or helps ensure that at contact, your strings face forward. If your racket at this point is straight up and down and you could balance a coin on the edge of the racket, when you get to the ball, your racket is going to be open. And then you got to turn the racket and turn the wrist and, and pronate and try to get the strings to close. And that just makes it for an er erratic for him. So close the racket face. But then what are you going to do with aiming low? You're going to swing up. So look how she's finishing. Swinging up does not make the ball go up. And we can see that right here. Look at her racket way above her head. So her, or her hand even, her hitting hand is way up. And notice the ball is going low over the net. That tells us that her strings were facing forward or even a few degrees closed at contact, which you can get away with if you swing fast enough. So make sure you close the racket face, but swing up. But the main key, again, intentions drive technique. You've got to aim low over the net. If she hits this ball this high over the net, the ball knows, right? The ball knows that she hit too high and the ball's going to go out. So when you move forward inside the court, aim low. Have it in your mind that you're going to hit the ball low over the net. And you do that by closing the face and swinging up. You do this, there's no doubt. You're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.